was not planning on doing this video today at all. But I've been wanting to start a makeup YouTube channel for a really, really long time. And um, I think you just have to jump in sometimes, even when you don't feel ready or when you feel like you should wait until this and wait till that and like whatever. So I'm just like, I don't care if it's imperfect. Like I just need to start somewhere. So um, yeah, this is my first like makeup tutorial. I need to do it quickly. So this is something, um, this is just a really quick, um, mostly just skin focused, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I would do on an everyday basis. Um, but yeah, so I just sprayed my face with this Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. This stuff, I, go, I like blow through this probably two of these every month and they're 15 bucks each, so it's not super cheap. But um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is super good for like plumping your skin and just keeping it hydrated. I use it as a moisturizer sometimes in the morning when I'm in a rush, which I usually am because I'm usually running late. Um, yeah, but this stuff is really, really good. Good for your skin, and I usually put it on kind of as a primer as well. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do foundation. I'm using the Healthy Foundation <laughs> by Physicians Formula. Um, this is too dark for me. But I love this foundation so much. Um, it's super hydrating. And it just looks really, really nice on your skin. It is definitely dewy, for sure. Um, almost a little bit too dewy for me, but I mix it in with a different foundation to kind of tone, down, tone that down a little bit. But I just kind of put that everywhere. And then I'm going to mix in um, this Wet n Wild foundation. Um, photo focus. This is really good. It's really cheap, so I assume that the ingredients aren't great for your skin. But um, I mix a little bit of this in because the color um, it helps it to match my skin a little bit better. So I just do a couple dots of that everywhere. And this is more of a, um, I would say, satin matte finish foundation. So it's going to even out the dewiness um, or the shininess, whatever you want to call it but I just kind of mix those and apply it with this brush a foundation brush it is my go-to when I'm in a rush which like I said I usually am <laughs> um, still haven't learned how to not be rushing all the time it's just hard it's hard for procrastinators any other procrastinators can attest to this it is difficult okay it's not just that I'm lazy it's that I got so much going on in my mind that it's so hard for me to like um, focus on time it is hard because my mind's everywhere but um, I buffed that in and this is a, I also bring it down my neck, that's really important. I'm going to use a, a Real Techniques buffing brush. This is like, this is like, um, like 10 bucks at the store at like Walmart. I love this brush. I've been using it for a really long time. I should probably clean my brushes more, but I don't. <laughs> um... And do that. I recently cut my own hair because I wanted to. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna use this concealer and then mix it in with the foundation a little bit. So this is um, Maybelline Fit Me concealer. This is again a um, more hydrating concealer but I just put that 
kind of on the insides of my eyes and underneath my eyes a little bit. And it's a little bit light on my complexion right now. Or at least I like to look more, like I don't love my under eye to be super bright. Because I think it, I just like, I don't like the contrast. So I just put a couple dots in my foundation to mix in the color a little bit better. And then just buff that in with the same brush. Again, this is like my super quick, I would say this takes me like maximum 10 minutes max. Like if it takes that long then I have a little bit of more time, but sometimes I even do a quicker version of this. I just buff that everywhere. I kind of bring the concealer down around my mouth, on the tip of my nose, or on the uh, bridge of my nose, on my forehead a little bit, and it on any blemishes. My skin's doing okay right now. Just do that real quick. Quack, real quack. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of dry shampoo and I literally, okay, I blow through probably three of these a month. <laughs> I use so much dry shampoo, it's like almost embarrassing, but I just don't like to wash my hair because um, I know that it makes it grow a lot slower, so I try to avoid washing it as much as possible, so I probably wash my hair twice a week. Um, and it's use a lot of dry shampoo, which, is that smart, money-wise, I don't know, but that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, um, I like my hair this length, though, I'm digging it. But that is the best, this is the best scent though. It's called Neon by Baptiste. It's like the best scent that I've tried from them. Also the rose one, really good too. But um, yeah, so. Gonna have to hurry. Next I'm just gonna take um, just a little bit of setting powder. This is no color powder from RCMA. It's like 10 bucks online and I've had it for I think a year now and it's still not even halfway gone. But I just take a little bit of that in the cap and then I'm gonna take this brush from e.l.f. It's their br their blush brush. And um, I'm gonna take a little bit of setting powder and I tap a little bit off on the back of my hand so it's not too much and just really like work it into the brush and then tap right underneath my eyes and like um, in that area. This I use I also use this brush for highlighting my face too. So I like that some of that highlight mixes in with the setting powder. It makes it um, a little bit more uh, it adds a little bit of shine in with the setting powder. I don't even know if it actually makes a difference, but I should do that. Um, next, I'm going to take some highlight. Becca Opal is where it's at, bro. This is like literally the best highlight in the world. I've been using this probably for three years, three, four years. It's so good, <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. 
for real. It's like, this is where it's at, bro. Put some on the tops of my cheekbones, put a little bit on my nose, on my cubes bow, on my chin. Forehead a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some blush. Wet n' Wild, Color Icon, um, Mellow Wine. I love this color. It's by Wet n' Wild, Mellow Wine, Color Icon blush. Um, and then I'm just gonna take this, I think this is a powder brush. From Real Techniques, uh, the label's rubbed off. But I think it's either blush or powder, but yeah, I use this. This is what I use for blush and bronzer and like everything. Except for powder. <laughs> um, I love these kind of blushes though. Like the super like orangey coral. It gives it like a really nice uh, warmth to the skin. I just kind of put that everywhere. I put that on the forehead. I kind of use it as almost bronzer. I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Um... I'm gonna put on a little bit of eyebrow. And then I was put um, lipstick on in the car. But. Side, this eyebrow gel, I just got it from L'Oreal. Um, and I use drugstore makeup for a couple reasons. Boost and set brow stylist. This is what I'm using. Um, I think that if you have the money, do luxury products if you really want to. But I think you can get the same result with drugstore stuff. Um, I didn't. That didn't used to be the case, but that has changed, and the drugstore has stepped up a lot, and their products are like just as good as Sephora. So there's like some things that I would say I would spend money on. Like I'd spend money on foundation, but. If I don't have the money, then I'm fine using drugstore because you can get the same result. But um, it really, for me, comes down to ingredients. Like, if I can afford good ingredients for my skin, then I'll do that. But I just don't think it's necessary to spend a bunch of money on makeup. But I do love makeup, and I didn't always think that. But So I do have some higher-end stuff that I still have. But my rule is that I have to use it all up before I buy something new. So something that I'd spend money on would probably be like a bronzer. So right now I have the Too Faced one. Too Faced one, why did I say it like that? The Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer. Um, I really like it, but I'm not gonna buy a new one until I'm all the way through this because this was like 30 bucks. And I'm not gonna go buy like another $40 bronzer when I have that one. Um, I can't decide how uh, I like this lipstick. Uh, I don't know if I like that color. No, whatever. This is, um, I really like the formula though. It's, this is L'Oreal Paris L'Oreal Color Rich Lipsticks 840 Nature's Blush. It's a little bit dark for me. I think the color is just a little bit off. It's a little bit too brown. But I really like how hydrating it is. These are really, like, high-quality lipsticks. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to go out and spend, like, 30 bucks on a lipstick for something you can get for $7. It's ridiculous. Um, but I understand. Like, I still love luxury makeup. I love it. But, do I think it's necessary? No. But I understand if you like it.
because I was that girl for a long time. I'm gonna take this off. I was just taking my eyeshadow brush and whatever was left on it from eyeshadow I did yesterday and the day before and the day before that and the day before that. I just, I'm just putting on my lid a little bit just to give it a little bit of color. And I'm going to take this mascara, do that really quick. I'm using The Last Sensational by Maybelline. Great stuff. Great stuff. You don't have to buy a $30 mascara to get good lashes. My lashes have been acting weird though lately. I don't know what's going on. I think I need a new eyelash color. I think that's the problem. It does not curl them very well. I know this was a super boring video. I don't really care. I'm just trying to start somewhere. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I really like makeup and I don't do it as much these days, but I've always loved it, and um, yeah, so I think I might start doing makeup videos more, but there's no telling with Whitney. She's a crazy girl. She's a crazy girl, let me just tell you. Um, sometimes when you get mascara and it's new, it can be like way too wet. And it's too like heavy, and it like weighs down my lashes a lot, so sometimes I like to like scrape off all the excess before I use it because it's just like too much and then it like weighs yep see it like I got that's really really wet it makes it weighs them down you know the lashes don't need to be weighed down props to you for sticking around if you got this far because if, if it were me, I don't, I don't know if I'd still be watching. I appreciate it. If you are, you're most likely one of my closer friends. Haha. <laughs> so just do a little bit of that. And then I think I'm done. See? Ugh, I hate when that happens. My lashes usually look so much longer. Um, yeah, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> but thank you for watching this far, if you made it this far. Um, I appreciate you, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.